Hello everyone, this is Valeria Barriga with your weather update. We start off the morning with the cloudy skies, but we finally transitioned to mostly sunny conditions. Now we also are starting to track some Sahara dust and it looks like it's going to be with us during the weekend, Saturday and Sunday. So if you suffer from allergies, be a little extra careful this weekend, especially if you're thinking to be outdoors. Other than that, we continue with hot temperatures for the next hours, upper 90s between 1 and 4 p.m. But remember, the real fields continue in the triple digits. Also, we are looking at very sunny conditions for this weekend. So if you're thinking and enjoying the pools, Saturday is going to be 101 degrees or high and Sunday, the same scenario. We're still in the triple digits. Make sure you have your sunblock and everything that you need to enjoy with the family. Next week, we continue looking at dry conditions and mostly sunny skies. Hello everyone, and this is Valeria Barriga with your weather update. Temperatures will continue in the upper 90s for the rest of the evening and real feels in the triple digits. We're looking at 104, 106 and some areas could even reach to 110 degrees. So you need to be extra careful out there. The warnings and the advisories continue in effect until tomorrow. And this basically, I think is going to be the scenario for the rest of the week. So just stay very, very informed. And of course, make sure you drink plenty of water if you're going to be outdoors. Also, we're looking at some gusty winds during the evening and tonight. We're looking at 20, 25 miles per hour. Humidity levels are going to start dropping. So we're looking at some fire conditions that it could be uh, very dangerous for people who live, especially in like uh, the uh, hill country and east of 535. The rest of the week, triple digits in sunny conditions, dry conditions for the weekend as well. Hello everyone, this is Valeria Barriga with your weather update. Happy Monday. We have a cold front crossing our area today and two things are going to happen. We have chances to see some rain activity, even some thunderstorms during the evening hours. We also going to notice a little bit of a drop in the temperatures or Pretty much a window of possibility will be between 2 and maybe 7 p.m. Today, we also have some showers tomorrow during the afternoon. Um, not a big event or a big concern, but we could be able to see maybe accumulations like a, an inch, maybe a quarter of an inch in some areas. And this is going to be especially at the hill country. And this is actually good news because we know that we've been going through a very, very dry season for the last few months. Uh, temperatures will continue. A little hot during the evening. We're looking at the upper 90s, but look at how the temperatures are going to drop with the pass of this cold front. Stay tuned to Noticias 48. Hello everyone, this is Valeria Barriga. Happy Wednesday. Once again, we are expecting another hot day with temperatures that will be getting into the mid to upper 90s. Again, partly cloudy skies throughout the rest of the day. We are also expecting to see some gusty winds once again at the hill country. And this combined with the low humidity levels will create again this perfect scenario to see some fire conditions. So be a little extra careful if you live in this area. At the same time, temperatures will continue rising through the rest of the week. Today, or highs, we're expecting in the mid to upper 90s at the uh, Interstate 35 with partly cloudy skies throughout the rest of the afternoon hours. And the rest of the week, we continue looking at pretty, pretty hot temperatures. So keep yourself hydrated because during the weekend, we're also expecting to see again those triple digits. Stay tuned to Noticias 40, you know, for more weather updates.